Welcome back to The Culture of Currency. As you know, this is the end of the year 2023. We look on to 2024, going to be a great year, of course. And that being said, I thought I'd go over my top five bullion coins for the year 2023. We got a lot of coins over 2023, but there are five that stood out that I thought you would want to know about uh, so that if you want to pick them up and can find them readily available, uh, that you could do so. I know that most of them are still available on Atmex, but they are limited mintage as most of these are low mintage coins. The first, number five, is this white rhinoceros coin from Australia. This is a limited mintage bullion coin. Beautiful coin. I love this series from Australia. Always one of my favorites every single year. Uh, I believe I have three from this series now. Classic coin. I believe it scored a 50 out of 60, so it is elite. Great detail. I absolutely love the Royal Australian Mint's new stuff that they're putting out. So that is number five. Number four on our list is this Dragon and Koi coin, also from the nation of Australia. Beautiful coin. Uh, in the video that I made over this coin, we talked about the ascension of the koi into the dragon going up the waterfall, the traditional story that follows. It's a beautiful story and one that really makes sense, um, especially this Lunar New Year being the dragon, of why this is such a popular and fantastic coin. There's Queen Elizabeth, obviously, Australian coin. So this coin scored a 53 out of 60, which is definitely an elite coin. And I think you can see why. Excellent detail. In the number three spot, we go to Europe. This is a Ducat, the Ducation Rider. This is the Netherlands. Uh, they have done these restrike series recently and I absolutely am in love with them, mostly because I think they're historic, they're accurate, uh, and they're beautiful. So this is a restrike of a very old coin, I believe from the 1500s if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not positive, I don't remember. Um, but I know it's in my video, I did over it. But this is a fantastic coin uh, from the Netherlands, one that I think will jump in value over time just gorgeous. So this scored a 52 out of 60. It's also elite. Uh, I picked all of these up at Atmex. I assume most of these can still be purchased at Atmex. Uh, but one particular thing I really like about these Netherlands coins is they let their mint master pick a mint symbol. Uh, and this guy picked a raven. It's right there. I know you can't probably see it, but uh, in my video over this coin, we highlight that. I think that's really cool that every Mint Master gets to kind of pick his own sigil and put them on coins. So that's the Ducat Rider, my number three coin of the year. Number two, we go to Europe, technically. It's an island, and that is this coin from Malta. Obviously, we know it's Malta. We have the Maltese cross here. Malta is new to the game and there's two Maltese coins that I thought about putting in the top five but the other one got edged out and that was the Maltese cross. This is another coin from Malta and this is the Maltese Golden Eagle. If I can get it to focus here you can see the fantastic design. This Maltese Eagle and Snake scored at one of the highest we've ever had a 56 out of 60 so in numbers alone it should be here uh, though it is not my number one coin, it is my number two. Just fantastic. It looks like classical art at its finest. It's capturing some of the most um, emphatic symbolisms of the Mediterranean uh, peoples that go back thousands of years. Just a fantastic coin and one definitely worth your time if you can get. It has a higher mintage, um, but it is still limited. I want to say it was around the 100,000 mark, but I don't quite remember. I know it's in my video over this coin though. Absolutely fantastic and one worth getting. 56 out of 60. And my number one coin hails from Australia. This is another in the series of what I believe is the 
Queen's Beast of Australia. The Queen's Beast series is a series from England uh, where the Queen basically had all the different uh, royal beasts, but this is the Australian version, in my opinion, copyright. This is the coat of arms of Queensland. So we have many identifying factors here of Queensland. I have uh, a couple of this series. I did miss out on the first of the series. It had an emu on it. So if you're feeling generous and you think that you have one that needs a home, please send it to my P.O. box so that I can complete the series. This is my favorite current series. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I think that it is fine-tuned, beautiful, uh, in every single way that you could think of. This also scored a 56 out of 60, which I believe is our highest uh, score that we've ever achieved on this channel. Only a couple coins have ever done it. And this is one of them. And so is our eagle. So fantastic, fantastic number one coin. It was a beautiful, beautiful year of silver uh, this year. I know we picked up a lot of awesome coins that I'm going to love forever. It is my hope that you did the same. But I would love to know in the comments which one of these is your favorite or did uh, I miss the mark on one? Did I uh, not pick one that you would have picked or knowing the coins on my channel, is there one that you thought got snubbed? I don't know. But these are my top five world bullion coins that I got this year. Number five, the white rhino. Number four, the dragon and koi. Number three, the Ducat rider. Number two, the golden eagle of Malta. And number one, our Queensland coat of arms. So interestingly enough, we have three Australia, two European countries uh, that kind of represent here. That's what we have. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you understand that we have unboxings coming up. I've got one box here of generic silver, uh, $100 worth, and one box of silver bullion, $100 worth, where we will start our journey that who knows how long this will go, where we're going to actually be comparing all of the details and seeing which one over time tracks better because you pay higher premiums for the bullion, but does that over time grow in value over the amount of generic silver. I cannot wait to see what the data shows. So thank you so much for watching and please remember as always to stay classy and current with the culture of currency.